So in the previous two classes, we saw cylindrical projection modified to Mercator projection, conical projection modified to Lambert's conformic orthomorphic conical projection. In this class, we will see the last of all that is zenithal projection or azimuthal projection. This is one of the easiest projection and we will see where it is used. So let's see azimuthal or zenithal projection. So for this, I need a volunteer. Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from Flight Deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. Again, all you need is a globe, a paper, a pen and little bit of imagination and you are done with this topic. Okay, let's see. Please come in front. I hope you are not weak hearted. No. If present comes, okay. because this is the last one, I will show you a magic also. Okay. So glass, graticule, globe, everything is remain same. First we put sheet like cylinder and we create it. Then we put like cone and we created conical projection clear and the last one is the simplest of all okay we put a flat sheet so you have to just hold like this okay. like we are putting on the poles okay hold this sheet from the other end rather you come this side now little bit of imagination are you seeing this the projection how it will come you switch on the light, okay, and you will have meridians. So meridians are straight lines converging towards nearest pole. It's so simple. Here is your pole and parallel of latitude. Like this. Now what about the next one? The distance will increase because sheet is going away. So where the scale is correct? At the pole. At the pole. Wonderful. Which area they are suitable for? Pole region. Are you understanding? Oh, you will keep reading in books and getting confused all your life. Okay. Next one will be again a circle, concentric circle, but the distance will increase. What about the next one? The distance will be further more. You get it. It's as simple as that. What about equator? Equator cannot be shown. For equator, what do we have? Mercator. That is the best one for the equator. For the polar, we have this for this projection. Clear? And this projection is zenithal or azimuthal projection. Thank you. You can keep this. Normally I have seen people use PowerPoint, Power Presentation, this, that. This is the best way to understand any kind of projection. So point of tangency is you can choose either pole. Light source is at the center of the earth. Now if you get the projection. That's how these meridians are. Correct. This is light source. Parallel of latitude. What about the next one? The, this distance will increase in all the direction. And this next one will be further away. Is anything projection? Meridians. These are
parallel of latitude, not equidistant from each other, distance between them increasing as you go away from poles. Equator cannot be shown. Now on this projection, if I draw a straight line, there is only one way to identify whether it is a rum line or grid circle. It is grid circle. So grid circle is a perfect straight line on these charts. Earlier this question was asked. Now these charts have been diluted to lot to a large extent because practically we only use Jepson. Okay, so a line which cuts all median at equal angle is a rum line. So rum line is a curved line concave to the nearest pole or convex to the equator. So these are the properties. Clear? Okay. We don't make any ma mathematical correction. Okay, this is important again. So we cannot use it for navigation because of the scale expansion in all the direction is increasing. So we do something about it. So what it is done, actually speaking, it is a concept again, a very important concept. See the problem is what? When the sheet goes away, the scale starts expanding. That is our problem. Earth is round and you are trying to create a projection on flat sheet. It will not touch everywhere. The moment sheet goes away, the scale will start expanding. So in this, the problem is same. At pole it is okay, you can create a projection, but as you go away from pole, the scale will start expanding. So what do we do in this case? It is again a simple understanding. Is Let's see, my problem is when the sheet it is touching the or the area which is touching the which you want to project on the sheet is correct. But as you go away, what happens? The scale starts expanding. That is the problem. In all the projection we saw, you found something? Okay, again I will show you. The, as the sheet goes away, it starts expanding. Is your sheet moving? No. Is your pen moving? So what I did? I took that light source from the center of the earth to the double the distance. So within up to certain distance, the scale will remain constant. Are you understanding? By changing the, by taking the sight or uh, rather taking the light source at the opposite pole. Sometimes I really think, pehle kande thai? <laughs> no, when I actually first time I read, what was the need to do that pole when you know there is a problem? You put it here, now this is a projection, give some whatever name you want to give. Okay, anyway, so have you understood? So now this light source, so no mathematical uh, correction, it is the only projection which is perspective. Okay, and orthomorphic. Okay, so what do we do? And light source, everything remains same. Now, within the polar region, for the small area in the polar region, I can use it for navigation. Okay, the scale expansion will not be causing too much of problem. Only in the polar region when you take it. Are you understanding? When you do just shift this light source to the opposite pole, this is referred as polar stereographic projection. Now, theoretically equator can also be shown, but there is no need to it. Because for the polar region, this is the best projection. No mathematical correction, the light sources you have increased double the distance. So even whatever the size was increasing by taking the light source away up to certain distance, the, the, there is not much of 
exchanges it is increasing but not which you cannot use it for navigation so this projection is purely perspective and orthomorphic and ideal suited for the scale does expand because the scale will be correct where at poles okay so the appearance is exactly same as zenithal projection appearance of meridians parallel of latitude scale does expand because the sheet is going away only thing is this expansion is too less again examination question for this on polar geographic projection scale at a latitude varies as whatever the scale which is correct at pole and as you go away the scale is expanding in all the direction it is there but less still you can use in you can use those charts for navigation into secant square of latitude again if you see the question question bank your papers you will find in which of the projection the scale varies as secant square so in this chart it varies as secant square because it varies in all the direction west appearance everything is same this is like i said again repeating a projection which is purely perspective and orthomorphic no mathematical correction the secant square is because tangent in that you saw tangent it was going in one direction here it is going in all direction so that's why it is secant square of latitude with this we have finished all the basic projections okay we started with the cylindrical projection we started with conical projection then we started with zenithal projection that is the basic projection there are advanced projection which we don't study now till 2007 they were asked in various papers in atpl including in cpl not anymore in the next class for just 10 15 minute we will summarize all these three thing which we have studied till then stay tuned this is captain surinder singh